What's good, everybody? This is your boy, DB Kicks, man. We're back with another video. Today, we got the year-end clothing haul for you guys. I always bring you guys my clothing haul so you guys can kind of pick and choose, you know what I'm saying, find some stuff that you might be feeling, some stuff that you're not feeling, whatever the case is. I can link anything that I'm still able to find in the description box below. Half of this stuff is probably Christmas gifts. The other half is just some stuff that I bought and I just have not showed you guys. It is quite a bit of stuff, so bear with me. I'm saying sit back. Get you a little coffee, you know what I'm saying? Depending on what time of the day you're watching this, and just, you know, chill, man. You know, I'm going to take my time, show you guys just some dope clothing, because um, it's all bangers, in my opinion. Now, if this is your first time here, man, welcome to the DB Kicks channel. Sneaker reviews, how to style content is the main focus over here. I'm never telling you guys what you should wear or how you're supposed to wear it. I'm just giving you guys my personal style and suggesting it to you, like, hey, maybe you want to try it like this, or maybe you'll like wearing this specific item or, or whatever the case is so that's just a little bit about the db kicks channel if you guys have not been here before uh first yeah. things first big shout out to the wifey man because she hooked me up with a lot of this heat and the other half i think i purchased but regardless she hooked me up with a lot of great items so this was actually something that i put on my christmas list yes we do christmas lists for each other <laughs> but this is something that I was like really, really wanting. So this is a Manistas outdoor jacket. So this is the Gorilla Fleece, I believe. This jacket is, no lie, this is the hardest jacket in my closet. All right, so I'm definitely gonna try this on so you guys can see how it fits and stuff. Um, it, it, from what I remember, it does fit a little bit, a little bit loose. It's a perfect fit in my opinion. With that being said, you're able to layer it if you wanna throw a hoodie on up under it. And this jacket is very trendy. So. A little bit how I found something like this because this is just something very different so I was on GQ looking at kind of like what was trending what's not trending for 2022 couple of brands to look out for a specific website um, I think it was called like Huckberry or something like that kind of like an outdoors type of uh, menswear or outdoor website for men it's kind of hard to explain uh, yeah so basically it kind of led me to this and I ended up going down a rabbit hole of this brand here called Manistash. So this is a brand that's founded in Seattle. It was founded in uh, 1993. So what their whole idea is to create outdoor uh, functional clothing. All right, so all this stuff is made of like organic materials, like hemp and stuff like that, if that thing matters to you. But the quality on it, just filling this jacket, the weight of it, it's A1 quality. Before I forget, dimensions, I am 5'8", about 160 pounds size a sneaker about a 32 33 waist t-shirts are usually about a medium right so this is a medium i haven't seen a single person that at least that i pay attention to ever talk about this jacket so maybe we we just don't know about it because i just found out about it about a month ago all right next i've showed you guys plenty of these hoodies but every time they go on sale i make sure i get a different color because they are the perfect weight and very good quality hoodies and great for layering this is the J. Crew 14 ounce cotton. This is like that pollen yellow. It's almost like the same yellow on the pollen ones. I don't know if this will really go with the taxis, but those taxis, I thought they were gonna be like really easy to wear. But for some reason, when I got them, I, I just, I don't know. It's like, I'm having a hard time putting something together, but I don't really know why, but yeah. 14 ounce cotton fleece, J. Crew hoodie. Definitely recommend you get one. I ended up getting about five items for about 180 bucks. I'm gonna explain all of that at the end. So just stay tuned for the video because the way I stacked the coupons and stuff, it was just crazy how I got all this stuff for $180 because that hoodie retails for about 140 alone. The shoes I'm gonna show you guys that I got from there are $350 on their own. This jacket, she got me this as well. Nike SB, uh, like a varsity style jacket. She got it from Skate Supply. You guys can see it's just got like that satin very classy jacket, man. It's, it's just dope. Very sporty. You've even got the the jersey style patch down at the bottom. You know, you guys see that on a lot of your old uh, jerseys and stuff, the Nike jerseys. I don't have a link for this at all. But what's cool about this jacket, according to the tag, it's an adult unisex jacket. So any ladies out there that do watch the channel, if you want to get you one of these, um, I'm going to try my best to find it, but it is a Nike SB jacket. J. Crew Skinny Stretch 250 Chinos. I know it's a lot to say. So basically a pair of uh, skinny fit chinos. Now, I, do, I don't buy anything skinny anymore, but 
given the fact that these were chinos and I wanted them to fit very nice and you know fit my body very well I figured I was like you know what I think these are you know these will serve me well and trying these bad boys on they are extremely comfortable the quality is there they got a nice you know nice little weight to it and they they fit perfect they're not too skinny they're not like hugging your your body to where you can't breathe or nothing like that right now that's my number one brand like the way my style is and kind of like the direction that I've been taking lately it really fits my style just perfectly two of the four or five items that I did get from J. Crew from that big sale another gift from the wife Merry Christmas so she knew I've been wanting this mountain style jacket it's like a landscape outdoorsy type of jacket from Abercrombie & Fitch. It's an oversized fit. This is a size medium. Now, I was gonna get the cardigan and I never bought it, so I'm glad I did it because I ended up getting it anyways. And it's just dope, man. It starts at the sky and just fades all the way down to like this dark green forest green with the mountains in the middle, some cool gray going on there. So you can go with a green sneaker, an off-white color sneaker. What I'll probably do is play off of the mountains off the middle of the jacket with the cool gray 11. You know, the cool gray is like that two-tone gray and I'll probably do a pair of sweatpants to match this right here. And you got yourself a very comfortable, cozy outfit. So this is the last jacket, but this is probably, this jacket here and the Manistash is going like neck and neck. But she actually, funny story about this, she actually purchased this for me as well. But you guys don't know, DB Kicks is impatient. Like if I see something I want and the price is there and I like it, I'm, I'm fixed on it. I got to get it. I'm going to look at it every day until I buy it. So that's what happened with this jacket. This Sherpa retails for about $250. Like, listen, or $238. So J. Crew stuff is not cheap, but if you catch their stuff at the right time, you will get it on sale. If you're not happy with the price, just wait it out. I do it every time. Something a little bit different, something I never owned before. Again, this is from J. Crew. Actually, J. Crew branded, but the company that does the knitting knitted it for j crew if that makes sense all right so um all that information is kind of on the tag so pretty lightweight but i put it on just for a minute and i was like man this this sweater is warm you know this is more along the lines of your menswear stuff that's kind of the direction when it comes to my fashion that i'm heading into 2023 with i'm very i'm really focusing on elevated clothing you know elevated great quality clothing, stuff that's gonna last, stuff that I can look back on and be like, okay, I still wanna wear this a couple of years later. And that's what we focusing on, man. And you know, and another thing I really wanna do is new textures and new feels, all right? That's what I'm going for. So that explains why I purchased some of the different items and just the different colors that I did. All right, so this is the last pickup from the wife. This is a Kith over, nope, I'm wrong. This is a Kith shirt. So this is a button-up plaid, beautiful, beautiful color. You've got a little bit of Kip branding right here on the pocket. And it's basically like, almost like a caramel and a light tan kind of color, cream. All throughout the shirt, you have hits of gray. So you got a bunch of gray mixed in in the shirt. I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera. Got two pairs of shoes here. One is a sneaker. So I scooped these up um a couple weeks ago i've had these for a little bit plan is to do a how to style on it because fun fact i have never worn a chuck taylor high top in my life i've tried them on and i just could not get myself to wear them beautiful color chocolate brown if you guys notice this is not your normal chuck taylors these are the converse chuck 70s the only way to go way more comfortable my wife wears them uh, they're a little bit more beefed up on the midsole and the outsole and the colors is little bit better they're just structured different and they're a lot more comfortable these are absolutely beautiful i got these from pack sun um, my true size is eight but converse if you guys do not know um always go well i I've, I've worn the lows in the past most people are going to tell you go down the size so this is actually a men's size uh seven men's seven women's nine last pickup finally we are finally there you guys see the box Again, J. Crew, count the items. This is like item number five from just that one website. All right, so first of all, the packaging that is gonna come with this shoe is just fire. You know, you gotta get your your um, your cards or whatever, your Vibram card. 
This is a pair of boots. They're gonna come individually wrapped in a dust bag. And I'll just show you guys one because there's no reason to show you guys both of them. But this is the, let's take that out, looking a little sloppy there. So this is a, uh, the Kenton Brown or a Kenton Burgundy leather pull up boot. All 100% genuine leather. The quality on this boot is so damn good. And what just draw, what drove me towards it was just this, that nice, rich leather, kind of burgundy-ish brown upper with the brown laces. And you got that toe cap going right here, the rugged outsole. So what's cool about these, outside of them being like made where they are, being 100% leather, these boots can actually be, uh, if you take them to what you call, I think a cobbler. So they have a welt here. So there's a Goodyear welt, which I think is in the middle. I'm not really sure. I'm still learning about boots, but if I mess it up or the outsoles you begin to wear down and, and you know, the shoe is just unwearable, you can take it and get it resold and they'll be brand new. And another thing that's cool is this natural leather, according to the description, as you wear it, it's gonna break in, it's gonna change colors, it's gonna kind of patina, it's gonna fit your foot because it's just a natural leather. So I think this is very cool. And this is a, a good representation and a good way that I'm going to start 2023 off. I really wanna get into my menswear. I've said it a couple times in my past videos. Um, not gonna stop buying sneakers, obviously, but I like to mix my sneakers and my menswear, but I wanna challenge myself and style something like this and wear something like this. So you guys might see a styling video on this on this boot in the near future. I'm gonna wear it first just to kind of see how I'm feeling it, but I plan on rocking it with some dark blue denim or something like that. All right, so we've got a ton, a ton of items. J. Crew stuff, guys, I ended up saving about $560 off. So basically they had a sale. If you do three items, you get 70% off. If you do two items, 60, one item, 50. So of course I'm gonna keep adding to get the 70 because I had a card that J. Crew sent me and I said, hey, if you spend $200, you get 50 off. So I bought the boots that were already marked down to like 150 and I kept adding stuff to adding stuff. Basically I got the boots for $70. And that's not your like um, your regular uh, panda dunk leather. This is legit leather. But I appreciate you guys coming through, showing love to the channel. And your boy DB Kicks is out.